Okay, we're going to show you how to make quizzes using the question wizard within Active Studio. So here we go. All right, I'm on a blank page within an Active Studio flip chart. What I'm going to do to start my quiz making process is come up to the insert button and I'm just going to click on question. Okay, then it gives you six different choices of what kind of a question type that you would like. You could have a multiple choice, sort in order, a yes, no, true, false. Uh, gives you a Linkert scale, which is where you rank uh, preferences, text entry, or a number entry. I'm just going to do a multiple choice, and I'm going to have a four option choices, and I'm going to add my question to the current page. All right, so then I click next. All right, uh, I think it defaults with the checkbox off for the first time, so uh, I always like to choose from their templates. So I would like to replace the page content with a new design. Once you do that, you can zoom in to see the different uh, templates that they sh uh, show you. Show, show you, and I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit, and I'm looking for an A, B, C, D multiple choice question with the question at the top, and I think I'm liking this one. All right, can't really see it. Let me see if I can center it a little better. Good enough. So the question's at the top and we have our four answer choices down below. So I'm going to click next from here and then I'm going to enter my question. Uh, let me think of one. Okay, what is the smallest country in the world? Uh, we are going to choose A through F. Um, okay, and I'm, there's only one correct answer for this, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm also going to give it a timeout, so that gives uh, that would give students 60 seconds to answer the question. You can, of course, change that. You can just uh, type in 30 if you'd rather that be a little quicker. And very important at this point, you want to make sure that you scroll down, okay? Because it is here where you enter the answers. All right, so mine could be Singapore, USA, Brazil, or um, Vatican City. All right, so I've got my four choices there. I'm going to click Next again. Uh, this is where you assign the correct answers. And of course, there's only one. It is the Vatican City. And I click Next again. This is where you can, if you have a follow-up question, um, you could, for example, uh, within the Vatican City, you, does the Pope live there? Or does, you know, so you talk about St. Peter's Basilica or something like that. You can create a follow-up question, follow-on question in this case. Uh, or you can just leave that blank and click finish. Okay, and so here uh, is your quiz basically. So what is the smallest country in the world is the question. Your four answer choices right there. So let's pretend that you are in um, class and you are giving this quiz. Each of your students have your, their active expression devices. We've of course registered them and so we're ready to begin. So once you get to this slide in your flip chart, you just click on the uh, flip chart vote arrow and it begins. There's my two registered devices. Neither one of them has keyed in yet. Um, and so I'm going to start my vote. Okay, so I'm just going to do a couple different, uh, uh, this kid is going to vote B. All right, and I press on B and then I click send. You notice number 26 gets highlighted. That means that kid has answered. And then this kid will get it right just in time. Only seven seconds left. Okay, so they both entered and it automatically puts up your results. So 50% of the kids in the class answered B. 50% uh, answered D. Um, of course, there's only two kids in this class. And then with this vote results, it gives you a bunch of different options within this uh, window that you can do. You could answer who answered what, uh, who answered what in just a list. So number 26 answered B in 17 seconds. I like this one. 27 answered D in 25 seconds. But of course, you got the right answer. So maybe it's better to take a little more time. Uh, gives you summary, uh, which question. Uh, there's vertical bar graphs, you can, so you can change it up as well. You can also paste the results into the window. And so then when you close out, you'll always have that on your graph, or you'll always have that on your page. Uh, you can, of course, make it smaller and, of course, bring that out. Or if you'd like, you can just keep it there and just kind of hide it down there. 
Okay, so then you would go on to the next page and you would start that entire process over again with insert, question, and uh, go from there. All right, so that is making quizzes using the question wizard within Active Inspire. Thank you.